Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Uh, today what I want to talk about is a research publication that came out in the Journal of Vertebral Subluxation Research. It's a chiropractic research journal. Uh, one of our doctors, one of our Blair Upper Cervical doctors published uh, a case study on a 46 year old gal who was suffering with neck pain bilateral paresthesia which is basically numbness and tingling in the extremity and dysautonomia. Um, Dr. Charmaine Hermanson, she's in uh, Georgia, she was the doctor that published a study but anyway, dysautonomia, one of the conditions that she was dealing with is basically means the nervous system's not functioning properly. It's one of these catch-all diagnoses uh, out there in the medical field when people are suffering with various nervous system related symptoms and they don't know what's going on so they say the nervous system's not working right. That's basically what dysautonomia means. But so, so being a natural healthcare provider who's seeking cause, the cause of problems, I sit here and ask, well that's great. This person's been diagnosed with dysautonomia, but what's causing it? What's causing the nervous system not to work right? So this 46 year old underwent Blair upper cervical care. Basically upper cervical care, we deal with C1 and C2, the top two vertebrae in the neck, and down through the top of them, uh, is, or in between them I should say, is where the spinal cord goes down through. And C1 and 2 are located right up here at the base of the skull. So basically the head fits on the top vertebra and the head weighs 10 to 12 pounds and C1 weighs oh about 2 ounces. That's this guy. That guy's carrying the weight of a head. And so as we go through life you can have injury, whether there be a car accident or whatever, and it knocks the top vertebra, locks it out of position, it irritates the nervous system. That's one thing that can cause dysautonomia, cause a nervous system not to work right. Neck pain, bilateral paresthesia. So Dr. Herman, back there in Georgia, corrected the C1 and the C2 with the Blair Upper Cervical Technique and monitored this patient over about a four month period, made an upper cervical correction when the neurological findings said that they needed it, and when the test showed that the vertebra was where it should be, left it alone. And lo and behold, over about a four month period, this gal's dysautonomia symptoms, her neck pain, and her bilateral extremity uh, paresthesia, numbness and tingling, cleared up. Um, so this individual, if you uh, want to uh, read the research, if you Google 46 year old dysautonomia, bilateral uh, arm numbness, paresthesia, and neck pain, and Blair Upper Cervical, you get the publication. But essentially, medically, there's nothing they can do with this autonomia. They basically will treat you um, uh, based on whatever symptoms you have and give you drugs to treat that. But again, they don't ask what the cause is. So in a Blair Upper Cervical office, we don't have the cure-all for everything. But if you have chronic health problems like dysautonomia, neck pain, post-concussion syndrome, Meniere's vertigo, the best place that you can look uh, to find out what's causing it is the central nervous system. Your brain, the spinal cord, basically fires off millions of nerve messages every second and is coordinating every function in your body. So it just makes sense if that's what controls everything in your body, then let's find out if it's working right. And that's exactly what a Blair upper cervical chiropractor does. If you're a new patient and you come into the office, we run a battery of tests that tell us if you've had a prior neck injury and that top vertebra in the neck, the atlas, is locked, impacting the spinal cord. And if it is, then what we do is we make a very precise correction to fix it. And then monitor the patient over time to make sure that that irritation to the cord isn't there so the body can then right itself. And like I've already said, in this case that Dr. Herman took care of, uh, most of their symptomology cleared over a period of time. And so really the bigger message of Blair Upper Cervical is regardless of what health condition you have or whether you have any symptoms or not, if, if you're out of alignment in the neck, you should get it fixed so your body can be as, as good as it can be. So if you're someone on YouTube who's searching for answers from dysautonomia symptoms or any other chronic health problem, unfortunately, I know most of you who are searching on YouTube have been failed by the system and you're having to proactively figure out what's wrong with you yourself. 
Again, a good place to look uh, to get checked is an upper cervical chiropractor in our Los Angeles and Carson office. We do offer a free consultation. There's no obligation. You can come into the office and we'll run you through a battery of tests, go over your case history, and determine if you have an upper neck problem and, and whether we can help you or not. If you're outside of the Los Angeles area, you can give our office a call. Our Los Angeles office is 213-399-7772. Again, if you're out of the Los Angeles area, we can find you a doctor in your area that can help you um, heal and function better naturally. So thanks for listening um, and have a good day.